Hey, good afternoon guys. This is Noel Clark from Informatica. I just wanted to give you a short video demonstration for two API integrations. Today we're going to be doing salesforce.com to cvent.com and specifically we're going to be taking a uh, Salesforce contact and using real time to update a cvent contact. So we're going to start at Salesforce and we're going to update or modify a contact in Salesforce and when that happens we're going to have an outbound message sent from Salesforce to the Informatica cloud and real time is going to catch that and it's going to call an API uh, for Cvent to update a contact in Cvent and we're going to be able to see all of this happening in the Informatica cloud process console we're going to see the outbound message received and we're going to see the update in Cvent so here I am in Salesforce and I have my contact screen open. I'm going to open up a particular contact, Kelly Blackwood here. I'm going to go ahead and edit some information about Kelly. So she's actually a miss and we're going to change her name to Kelly, which is the proper spelling. And we're going to change her title to CEO. And as soon as I hit save, we're going to get an outbound message. So I'm going to hit save really quick. I'm going to flip over to the outbound message screen. I'm going to hit refresh. And you can see there's the outbound message going out of Salesforce. And as soon as it's done, you'll see it's empty now. And then we'll go right over to the address book in Cvent. And we can see we have our contact here, Kelly Blackwood. You can see it's the old spelling. Uh, if I go ahead and click up uh, edit, you will see... Now we have it, the new spelling, uh, K-E-L-L-I-E, -L -L -E, and we have her prefix set as Miss, and you can see her title is now CEO. So you can see that is really, really quick. Uh, and over in the process console, if I take a look at all of the, the, the processes that I had running, if I hit submit and get a, another query of this, uh, you will see that we have uh, the process Cvent event, so that was the incoming message, and then we have the uh, update contact for Kelly Blackwood, and you see we have a nice name there. So very, very quick movement of contact from Salesforce to Cvent. So continuing right along, we're going now going to do a uh, Cvent event object, and we're going to move that using Informatica Cloud Realtime over to a Salesforce meeting. So in this, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to have a process that pulls Cvent every 30 seconds, and we're going to get a list of events that have changed in Cvent since we last polled. And when we get the list, we're going to then uh, check to see if an existing meeting exists in Salesforce. If it's found, we're going to update an existing meeting. If it's not found, we're going to create a new meeting. And then we're going to extract the relevant information from Cvent, and we're going to put it into Salesforce. And again, we're going to see the process console showing us the polling every 30 seconds. We're going to see a sub-process to uh, retrieve a list of changed IDs, and we're going to see a sub-process that makes the actual updates to Salesforce for each ID. Here we are in Cvent, and you can see we have an event, a number of events here, including one called Tuesday. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and edit that uh, event, and here in Cvent we just go up to the event details, we'll edit the event, and we'll change the name to, in fact, this is going to be now Friday event, and we'll leave it all in there. We'll, we'll make it a little bit bigger because we know everybody wants to show up for meetings on a nice Friday afternoon. We'll make it a thousand people, and uh, we can even change the date. Um, so let's make this, um, say, August the 5th, and uh, we'll uh, actually make the start date um, in September, September the 5th, and the end date, we'll leave it at the 5th, that's perfect. And so there we go. Um, we can even add the location and so forth, but that's enough. I'm going to hit go ahead and hit save. And when I hit save, this has now been updated in the Cvent system. What's going to happen is we're going to see that change propagate over to Salesforce. So here we are in Salesforce, and this is our Tuesday uh, meeting right here. You can see it's currently in the old state. If I go ahead and hit refresh, you can now see that we have our Friday event and it has been updated to a start date of uh, September the 5th and we have a uh, capacity set now at 1000. So that's been updated correctly. If we go ahead and take a look at our process console and get a 
recent run of this, you will see that we have our uh, loop uh, that is polling Cvent, and it's in loop two. We got a list of uh, updated IDs, and there you can see we're updating the uh, Friday event. We can even click into this, and in our process console, it'll show us the path that the process went down. So you can see these green check marks indicate that uh, this is the path that was followed. In this case, we have it in Salesforce. And so we're going to go down the update path instead of the insert path. So the green check marks tell us which way we went. And then we went to the end. So that's it, guys. That was a quick demonstration of real-time integrations between two APIs, including Salesforce and Cvent.